So let us now do COBOL 1, Cultural Harmony, COBOL and JSON together. Click on it. Here is the PDF. Right click, open in new tab. Here is some information about COBOL. You can read it. Then take me to the quiz. Not all ATMs use COBOL code together. What percentage do not? Let's give here 5. What type of program is COBOL best suited for? It is best suited for data processing. Let's give submit. And both the answers are correct. Let's click on continue. And here is the PDF. This PDF has 18 steps and it will take around 4 hours. Step 1 is to install IBM Z Open Editor. So go to extensions. Search here IBM Z Open Editor and here is it. Click on install and it is now successfully installed. Then in step 2, it is asking us to either turn on or turn off the column selection mode. So here go to selection and you will see column selection mode it is your choice whether you want to enable it or disable it in step 3 it is asking us to create a COBOL PDS it should be username.cbl so let's open a terminal and here we have to enter this command zoe files create PDS and then double hyphen data hyphen class then spds then give username z give here z 04085 dot cbl then press the enter key remove the space between data and class press enter and data set created successfully. Earlier I have given a space between data and class that was the error. In the second time I did not give a space here. That is why it completed successfully. Give here clear to clear the screen. Now go to public source and copy JSON COBOL and JSON JCL into our own COBOL and JCL data sets. So this is public.source. Go to JSON CBL right click copy member and paste it in our own COBOL right click paste member then right click JSON JCL copy member and paste it in our own JCL paste member In step 4, it is asking us to set up column rules. We have to open command palette by giving control shift P. So here give control shift P. Then I have to type settings JSON. So here I have to type settings JSON. Open user settings. And in the end of this file, you have to add this line. Editor ruler 72. So here just add a comma and then in the next line give this editor.ruler72. Control S to save. Then in step 5 we have to open the COBOL source file. So go to JSON COBOL and then you can see there is a line at column number 72. Then in the below tab you can see problems is there. Click on it. There will be two syntax error that will be displayed. Double click on each and resolve it. Once resolved, it should show zero errors. So there are two errors. The if statement must begin in area B. So it is in line number 115. So this is line number 115. It should begin in area B. So give spaces. Now this error is gone. Then another error line 175, so go to 175, 
here is 175 what goes here is not a valid intrinsic or user defined function this is not a built in function instead of this we have to put in something else here is a hint our date is in this format year 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 month month date date we want to convert it to this format to do this we will first convert our integer to number of days since december 1600 there is an intrinsic function for it that function is called integer of date you can see here integer of date you can see the error is now gone give control s to save you can see the errors are gone these are errors related to settings so we can ignore them the errors related to cobol are gone so step 5 is done in step 6 we just have to run this code so here is json jcl right click and submit job job submitted 1652 here is 1652 append u4038 here is the error append u4038 so step 7 is to check the return code we have completed this step 8 is asking us to solve the append so let's go to the job so in the run program we can see the error so this is the error unsuccessful open close of fly file so let us go to our data set so you can see in the code line number 34 it is given here fly y file but in the jcl it is fly r file so let's change the name to fly r file and save the cobol code control s to save and then submit the jcl again right click submit job job submitted 1658 let's go to the jobs 1658 1658 condition code is 0 and now you can see fly r file this is the output of this cobol code so step 8 is complete in step 9 it is telling us that we should get condition code 0 we got that we got the output file flyer file it is about the products that are going to expire so they are on 50% discount then in step 10 it is asking us to add the name of the store corner grocery store it is missing so let's go to the cobol code and we will add a line here so this line is not coming in the output file let's remove a dot here control s to save here let's give and if control s to save then let's run our jcl again this is the jcl right click and submit job job submitted 1664 here is the flyer file click on it you can see corner grocery store is now there so step 10 is complete let's go to step 11 then in step 11 it is asking us that the output file is in the plain format it should be in html format so we have to pass a parameter here is the example parameter total length flyer format parameter text or html it is given in the linkage section so either we can give text or we can give html so let's go to the cobol and see here in the linkage section here is the linkage section either text or html should be there and we have to pass using jcl here is the jcl you can see here text is written let's give here html control s to save let's now submit this job again here is the jcl right click and submit job job submitted 1668 One six six eight condition code zero. Let's check the output. Here is the output. You can see here is the HTML. Now instead of plain text file, it is showing us in the HTML format. So step eleven is complete. Step twelve is to just run the code. We have run the code and got the output as well. So twelve is also complete. Let's go to step thirteen. We have to install an extension called HTML Preview. So let's go to extension here. Search for HTML preview. Click on it and then install it. So we have installed HTML preview. Now let's go to the flyer file. This is the flyer file. Then go to the bottom. 
and instead of plain text select auto detect and you will see html highlighting the highlighting is now in html in step 15 it is asking us to open csame so click on this icon and you can see the html preview in step 16 it is asking us to add currency symbols the symbol should be us dollar but the dollar sign is missing here is the screenshot this is how the output should look like so let's go to the code and this is the sale price before sale price there should be a dollar symbol so what we can do is we can string dollar symbol to this price so what we'll do is we'll give here string dollar sign and sale price delimited by size into let us give here a new variable final sale price instead of displaying sale price we will give here final sale price let us now define dollar sign and final sale price in the working storage section so here is sale price let's give here one more variable dollar sign give x of 1 then give the value dollar and let's create final sale price give pick off sale price is 1 2 3 4 and then add one more so it will be x of 5 that's it control save let us now run this code here is json jcl right click and submit job job 2832 condition code 0 let's check the output here is flyer file give auto detect then preview and you can see dollar sign is now appearing dollar 1.9 dollar 0.24 and dollar 0.44 same way we have to add dollars to all the other prices as well old price and the discount price so let's add more dollar in the same way go to the code it is discount instead of discount let's give final discount and same way let's give here string dollar sign and discount delimited by size into final discount let's define final discount let's go up in the working storage section here is discount after it let's give final discount and then give pick off x one two three four five this will also be five control s to save same way i have to give for price format so give here string dollar sign and price format delimited by size into final price format let's define final price format go up here is price format here final price format same pick x of 5 here give final price format control s to save that's it for price format we have given final price format for sale price we have given final sale price and for discount we have given final discount and we have given string with dollar sign that's it control save then go to jcl and submit right click submit job job submitted 2850 let's check the output here's the flyer file give plain text auto detect give preview and now you can see dollar sign in all the values here is dollar sign here is dollar sign here is dollar sign so step 16 is complete now in step 17 we have to add the images this is the final challenge 
So let's go to our JCL and COBOL. This is our JCL. You can see here, forward image is there. Let's check in COBOL. In COBOL, when you go down, you will see there is no prod image. So let's add here. 3 prod and IMG. Give pick X of 99. Control S to save. Let's go down. Here it is giving product image broken. This is not the name because product image broken is this one. This is a known dot PNG. So there is no image. That is why it is showing as broken. So instead of product image broken, let's give some other variable. Let's give final image pick x of 99 and here instead of product image broken give final image and you also have to move something to the image variable so what you can do is you can give here move prod image to final image prod image is a table so what you can do here is you can give in the bracket the index and the index value will be given at the top here you can see the index value inverse record count control c to copy and then give here inverse record count so one by one it will move the image to the final image and then it will show the output here final image control s to save now let's submit jcl json jcl right click and submit job job submitted 2861 2861 condition code 0 here is the flyer file give auto detect and then preview and you will see the output is coming here this is scanned tuna this is tuna these are green beans these are green beans this is peanut butter, this is peanut butter. So the images are also now showing fine. Now to finish the challenge, just create a copy of the HTML in cobol.html file in USS home directory. Then submit the chkacblh job. Control AC, go to Unix, right click create file and the name of the file should be cobol.html click on it paste everything then control s to save then submit chkacblh let's go to public.jcl chka this is the job right click and submit job now submit it 2873 condition code 0 so let's go to our website here's the challenge go down challenge complete Congratulations, you are on the COBOL journey. You have completed this challenge. In step 18, it is telling us that we can learn COBOL programming by this free COBOL course from IBM. Here is the video course and here is the text version. You can go to these links and learn COBOL. That's it. This challenge is now complete. If you like my videos, then you can support me by buying my mainframe course. After buying this course, you will get 19 hours of mainframe training. This course will teach you COBOL, JCL, VSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix System Services and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.